It's one of the largest new rail projects in Europe, set to plug a major gap in the continent's high-speed network, over 800 km long and running across three countries that have lacked a modern railway since the fall of the Soviet Union. Building a railway through one country is difficult enough, but when it's crossing three of them, it becomes extremely challenging. Each state has its own separate body for the project. Teams are having to collaborate closely across borders, and hundreds of contracts are currently active. Rail Baltica is a scheme that's throwing up some immense challenges. But thanks to digital technology, multiple organizations have been working together seamlessly to get Rail Baltica up to speed. And as one of the used transport priorities over the course of this decade, the pressure is on to get it right, requiring spectacular engineering, advanced technology, and world-class design. It's that massive scheme by the EU to connect member states with up-to-date infrastructure, mostly rail. The Feymarnbelt Fixed Link, Lion Turin Railway, Brenner Base Tunnel, they're all part of it, known for their enormous scale and the countries involved. But now there's a new player, rising in the east well, three of them, the Baltic states of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. Together, they make up a huge chunk of the North Sea Baltic Corridor from Antwerp to Helsinki. The project's primary objective is to enhance regional connectivity, foster economic growth, and promote sustainable transportation. It's an 870 kilometers long high-speed railway from Tallinn, Estonia, running down to Lithuania, the Polish border, and eventually the rest of the European network. A trip between the capitals will take just over three and a half hours shorter than gone with the wind. Both high-speed passenger trains capable of 249 kilometers per hour and freight trains running at 120 kilometers per hour will use the line and the entire route is being electrified. This will help to lower CO2 emissions and reduce air pollution by more than 18% compared to other forms of transport. Since 2023, construction has been ramping up, and as you can probably imagine, there's a lot happening. It all begins in Ulamist, creating an international gateway to Estonia right next to the country's main airport. It will act as both a multimodal transport hub and a public bridge, as well as rail. Passengers will be offered seamless connections to bus and tram routes, and it's being built in phases using a modular approach. Excavation for the station building is in progress, along with the foundations and supporting structures. Elsewhere in Estonia, the construction of new crossings where cars, trains, and even where wildlife will intersect has been the focus. These include a 73-meter road overpass, four viaducts over the future railway, already open to traffic, and an aqueduct further down in Latvia, where more than 200 bridges are being built. Trains will either loop off to the capital Riga or carry on south towards Lithuania. When complete, it will become the largest passenger service hub in the Baltics in terms of visitor numbers, with a total area of almost 13,000 square meters and a huge glazed roof, and the new bridge over the Neris River, more than 1,500 meters long, is one of the highlights. The Baltic states have been crying out for a railway to match the rest of Europe for quite some time, and the early signs are that it will be worth the wait. Well, the official estimate was around $6 billion, with a 2030 completion date. But reports in Latvia say costs have now risen to about $8 billion. So, how much is it all going to cost, and when will it be ready? Share your opinion with us in the comments. And here we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to like, write a comment, and subscribe to the channel.